Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. Happy New Year, y'all. Um, instead of separate forecasts for the signs for January, because I did just put up 2021 readings for everybody, I am just doing a pick a card spread for the month. We'll go back to your forecast for the signs and pick a card spreads uh, in February. Um, this is going to be a quick two card reading. I've got an oracle card and a tarot card here working with the New Orleans Oracle deck and the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck. Um, for those of you that like these decks and are interested in grabbing them. Um, you can pick one of these piles here. Going to be looking at the overall energy for January for you. And because we are dealing with Capricorn energy for most of the month, also going to be looking at where you need to Capricorn down, buckle down, do some work, do your due diligence, okay? Um, I've got three piles here. You can pick based off of the one, two, or three. You can pick based off of the stones. We've got a uh, Aqua Aura Quartz here. Flame Aura Quartz. And also got a piece of Lumerian Quartz here. So you can pick based off of the stones, you could pick based off of one, two, three, or whatever pile you are drawn to. Um, once you pick your pile, Let's go on and get into your messages. They are time stamped down below uh, by pile, okay? For those of you that picked pile number one, which is the Aqua Aura Quartz, let's go on and get into your messages. What do y'all have here? So if I can get these cards off of this thing. Ooh, you've got self-care. Ooh, and dance. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. The overall energy for you guys that have come to this first pile here, um, very, very good energy to start off the year with, to start the first month of the year with. Self-care here does tell me that the overall, what you are going to be focusing on during this first month of the year is getting yourself together. And that could mean in several different ways. However, what I do feel is that you are supposed to be getting yourself together in order to find your zen if that makes sense. Um, we had a crazy year. 2020 was wild. And I'm calling 2021 the wilds. <laughs> um, and I've got videos up on all of that. But the energies that we've been rocking with have been have been crazy, have been out of left field and have have thrown everybody for a loop. Um, and with that being said, last year, although we had to be locked in the house, we had to quarantine, we had to stay to ourselves just because we were alone does not mean that we gave ourselves the love and the time and the care that we needed most of us were devoting all of that energy into worry and fear and anger with and doubt and and you know uh all of the the crazy negative things that could that could pop up in in your mental right that's what most of the energy was going to last year in the first month of the year for those of y'all that came to this aqua or quartz pile you are taking the first month of january to kind of slow down you're taking this first month to stop, look, and listen to what it is that you need, mind, body, and spirit. And it's important that we do that. You know, I, I give this message for people for their birthdays because I don't really do New Year resolutions and things like that. I do all of that on my birthday. But I do understand that people really start fresh at the start of the year. We are in the winter season, which means you have, you uh, we're walking away from things. Things are dying out. Things are, are cooling down. So the energy that you're shedding, you need to make sure that you're giving yourself the time and, and the devotion to replenish that. Okay? So... For the first month of January, you don't have to shake and move too much, but you do need to, to pour some, some love and some time and some attention into yourself. You've got the dance card here it, as far as what you need to give due diligence to. And in this New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck, this is the chariot card um, in corresponding to regular tarot. This is a major arcana card. The chariot card is a card of self, and the chariot card typically pops up 
when you have gone through the trenches you have you know been dragged through the mud as my my cousin says is after you done came up through the sticks so when the chariot card pops up it points to you know giving yourself credit and giving yourself the light and the positivity in addition to the love that you're supposed to be giving yourself for this first month um the dance card does also point to actually getting out and doing some sort of physical movement some sort of physical activity so during the first month especially because you have this self uh, self care card here i would go so far as to say you know what we there's still a lot of quarantine programs <laughs> online you could find a whole bunch of free you know fitness programs or maybe do some yoga maybe do some stretching maybe just go out and take a walk or take a jog around the block something but during january as long as you're not going to go outside and freeze yourself get outside and do something active do something physical when you physically move you tend to break up energy you tend to break up dense and negative energy so as you are giving yourself the self-care as you're going through the motions you'll also be helping yourself move along with the motions by actually getting out there and getting physical but most importantly with this dance card and the self-care card is that it is time to give you some love it is time to give you some light and it is okay to do that and because you're starting a new year why not start it with this energy so that you can see it play out for the, the duration of the next 12 months? For those of you that came to pile number two, which is the flame or a quartz. It's one of my favorite stones, by the way. Love this stone. Um, let's see what your messages are for January. You've got the end of cycle, and you've also got Nanan Buklu La Flambeau. This is one of my favorite cards in this tarot deck, um, and I'll get into this in a second, okay? Um, with this end of cycle here, this is in the position of the overall energy for you for the month of January. There's a little bit of residual energy hanging around from 2020, from chapters that are closing, from things that you were walking away from, from cords that you have recently detached, and that's okay. Not everybody can start the new year and really start fresh. Like most of us be, you know, I don't even write new year resolutions. I do that on my birthday. Um, most of us write, the, write out these new year resolutions and two weeks into the year, it's like, okay, I, I have that list, but I'm still, I'm still rocking in November. I'm still clearing things up from November. Give me some time. And that's okay if that's where you're at. You came to this pile, so that's probably where you're at. Everything in divine timing. But with this card popping up here, I do get the sense that the reason why things might be moving so slow for you is because you have emotional investments or you've put a lot of energy and time and effort into these things or these people or these situations or these perspectives that you have or that you've been involved with. And that is normal, okay? When you put uh, emotional energy into things, when you attach yourself, when you put your effort into things, you tend to you tend to want to you tend to want to rock there and tend to want to stay there because listen, I worked hard for this. Listen, I put my time into this. I put my love into this. I put my energy into this. I put my knowledge into this. Why would I want to let it go? Understand that you have the end of cycle card coming up here. So that tells me that you all of that stuff that I was just talking about, the reason why it's time to let it go is because you've gained everything that you were supposed to gain from it. You've gained the wisdom, you've gained the knowledge, you've learned the lessons, you've done the growing, you've done the progressing. It is now time for you to, to cycle on up into the next chapter. It is now time for you to ascend. Because this card is popping up here, for the month of January, I do think it is important to tell you that although I did say, you know, everything in divine timing is cool that you've taken a little bit longer, it is time to chop chop, okay? It is time to speed it up, uh, no more dwelling, no more lingering, go on and wrap all that shit up so that you can get yourself into alignment with what is coming up for you. And listen, 2021, I'm calling it the wilds and it's going to be wild uh, in a whole bunch of different ways, but on an individual level get your <laughs> get your shit together because you have wild crazy positive popping new opportunities coming in and you're not going to be able to seize them if you're still lingering in like i said still rocking back in november december october back in last summer last spring you know it's okay keep the memories keep keep you know keep the remnants and the the memories and the pictures and the photos and the and whatever it is that you need that you feel like you need to remember and you need to hold on to but don't hold on to it if it's detrimental and if it's baggage okay memories are different from baggage take your memories wrap everything up leave the baggage behind 
and and start rocking on into the next to the next chapter okay in the next position you guys have non non buclu la flambeau which is uh where you need to capricorn down and do your due diligence do some work when this card pops up i like to see it because it points to things that we are passionate about coming in for us and us having the ability to take whatever path that we want to and us having all of oops having all of listen you guys get wrap this up because apparently your energy is popping it's ready to shoot forward but you, you you're resting over here and it's, it's gonna get a little hectic for you if you don't wrap these things up um with this card, you harness all of the resources that you, you need in order to hit all of these ideas. All of these ideas you've put out into the universe yourself. These are your manifestations. This card is coming up here because it's saying, hey, Cap not Capricorn, because we're in Capricorn season. It's saying, hey, you've planted those seeds. You planted them seeds in 2020, maybe in 2019, and then 2020 came and took you out. But the seeds were planted, it, and, and you, you've been doing the watering. It is now time for you to watch out for the crop. It's now time for you to hold that garden it's now time for you to go on and and start plucking more seeds so you can plant some more crops somewhere else so everything that you have thought about your dreams your manifestations your ideas they're waiting for you to come and work on them and they're waiting to come into fruition but you do have to wrap some things up before you can do so so take the first month of the year that was about to be a tongue twister but i got it out take the first month of this year Wrap these things up so you can use the rest of the year to come into your non non buclu la flambeau energy. For those of you that came to pile number three with the Lumerian Quartz, let's get into your messages. What do we got here? We've got new beginnings. And ooh, Ogun Balindio. Okay, so let's let's talk about let's let's rock with this card. Um, new beginnings. We're in a new year, fresh start, new new calendar year. Even though we're still in a whole panoramic, I, I get it. But the energy is is fresh. We're we're even even though we're in the winter season because our calendar year starts now. The energy gets a little bit of a spark. Okay, we'll get back into the winter energy. A little bit more towards the end of January going into February and then into March as we wrap up the winter season but for you right now for those of y'all that came to this pile you're coming into this new chapter of life you're coming into this new space and everything looks different it feels different um, and if you look at the imagery on this car this is the Lafayette Cemetery number one um, and there is this there's this energy of you feel like there's a little bit of a loss because you're coming into something new understand that when we move into new spaces we do have to shed certain habits we have to get rid of certain people we have to get rid of certain perspectives sometimes uh, other people and other situations do that for us on their own but for the most part when our energy is shifting when we are ascending when we're moving into new chapters we have to do the work to cut certain things out or to accept that certain things are no longer in alignment with us or no longer for us okay so with this new beginnings card i get the sense that those of you that came to this pile although you're ready for what's to come although you're excited about what's coming in you you carry i, I almost want to say you carry a little bit of, of guilt of, of, of I, I'm saying guilt, but the word I'm wanting to get out is grief. Um, you're, you're a little sad about the changes that are coming in. And maybe it's because there are people that you wanted to experience the new life that you're going to live. Maybe it's because, you know, you had to walk away from something that you really put your heart and mind and spirit into. Or maybe it's because something got shut down before you were ready for it. But understand that all of that happened because it was supposed to everything in divine timing. When things start to shut down, it's because new things are getting ready to pop up and new doors are getting ready to open for you. So even if you feel a little bit of sadness, even if you feel a little bit of grief, even if you feel like, dang, like I can't bring you to the table that I'm about to be sitting at, shoot. Well, even if you feel like that, understand that that's okay. The things that you've walked away from, the people that you had to cut your cords from, they're going to grow and progress in their own ways and they're going to get over this too. You have to focus on what's coming in for you right now because you have new beginnings coming in for you, okay? You've got new things coming in for you. Um, every time there's a cycle of death 
in comes a new cycle of life is kind of like the phoenix um as it burns to ashes the phoenix rises out of the ashes so whatever you're feeling sad or upset about or, or attached to that you had to detach from that you're not really feeling you will be okay all right you're gonna be good understand that all that's happening because you've got new things coming in now the next card you have is in the position of where you need to capricorn down right <laughs> and you've got one of my all shit cards um this is actually the five of cups the five of water um it's a card of despair of sadness but in this particular voodoo new orleans voodoo deck um it carries this message of sickness and I, i'm getting the word sickness and mental so what i'm getting is that the reason why you're feeling all that heaviness is because you're allowing your thoughts to consume you during the month of january you have to tackle these things um and you in the energy like listen it's not it's not an easy feat it's easier said than done but if you want to really be able to come into these new beginnings and really experience them for all that they're worth you do have to stop and acknowledge the things that are weighing you down the things that you're no longer in alignment with the things that are actually detrimental to your growth and causing you stress which can in turn be detrimental to your physical health okay look at these things and you're gonna like i said you're gonna have to acknowledge them then you're gonna have to accept that they are what they are and that it is what it is and then start doing your snip snip and cut your cords and listen i have lived through instances in which i really had to do cord cutting meditations for places that i lived in not just people okay where i had to do release work for certain perspectives that i had and so that is what you're going to be spending your january what you should be spending your january doing this is where you need to capricorn down and do the work okay um, that's what you should be doing in January because if you can work through those tough energies and not to say as quickly as you can, but if you can start working on them now while the energy of the new year and the fresh rejuvenated energy is popping off, you can um, you can kind of tackle it and break it up with a little bit more power than you would if you tend to draw it out. So try to start working on these things. Try to start getting into these things. Meditate, sit with yourself, have some conversations if you need to. Break these things up so that you can really come into your new beginnings for the rest of 2021. And that is the spread. I hope that your messages found you well. If you are actually interested in booking your own personal reading for the year, you can do so with me via Etsy. I have two different versions. They are linked down below. Um, I also have a couple videos up that I'd like you guys to watch as we start off this new year. We finished 2020 and came into 2021 with the Cancer Full Moon. That video is up. I also will be putting up the Capricorn New Moon video um, closer to the day that that happens. <laughs> um, I did put up a pick a card spread um, in regards to reflection for the year 2020. I have a 2020s decade pick a card spread up as well and I have individual readings for all of the signs yes all the signs all 12 of the signs up on the channel as well go on and check those out don't forget to like comment share subscribe I'm hella close to being monetized I appreciate y'all for rocking with me for so long and I appreciate y'all for watching this video thank you for tuning in I will catch y'all next time peace